In this screencast, I will show you some of the new features in the built-in Event Log Viewer in the Event Century Management Console, and that's of course available in the free edition of Event Century, Event Century Lite, as well. Uh, once we're in the Management Console here, you'll notice that uh, in version 3.0 we have a new Applications and Services logs container here, just like you would see in the Windows Event Viewer, and I'll get into what we offer here in addition to the. Windows Event Viewer here shortly. Um, if you click on the Event Log Viewer here, you'll notice a, a new screen, a new dialog here compared to older versions. In older versions, what you would see is you would see the summary screen, which is still useful. It gives you the size of the event logs. But this new display here, this new dialog is, is a bit more useful because what it shows you is not only how big uh, the event log is and how many events there are, it shows you the time span of each log. That is the difference between the oldest and the newest events. So you can see here, for example, if you look at the security event log, uh, you'll notice that we have a time span of 1 hour and 51 minutes between the oldest and the newest events. We can see that the most recent event appeared at, uh, occurred at 4.56 p.m. and it also calculates the rate of events for you. So in this particular case we're seeing five events uh, generated per second. So this is great for capacity planning. So if you're trying to estimate you know, how many events um, will we generate on a particular server workstation, then all you have to do is fire up the Event Century Management Console, bring up the built-in event viewer, and take a look at those stats here. So of course we can see that application and system event logs have a much uh, slower, much lower rate of events. Now let's look at the applications and services logs. That can be quite overwhelming. So if you look at the Windows event viewer here, uh, and look at the applications and services logs. Uh, we've got a long uh, list here and it takes quite a while to get through this and there's nothing wrong with that of course and uh, we still uh, do need that list uh, you know, occasionally to look at all the logs that are available but in most of the time we just want to see the logs uh, that actually contain events and that are actually of use to us. And so what we did in Event Century is we we filtered that list down. We filtered it down to only to only show you those event logs uh, that have recently had uh, activity in them. And all the other ones are sh are hidden and they're also shown here in a flat design so you don't have to in a flat hierarchy so you don't have to actually expand um, 15 times to get to the logs that you that you want. And again here what we do is uh, the same thing uh, that we did in the other logs, the same display here. We have the number of events and of course here the event rates. You can immediately see you know, which of these logs are, are actually somewhat busy and and useful. So for example we can see here you know, that the PowerShell you know, has nine events per second where some of the other ones have two events per week. Um, so we get a pretty good idea of which logs are active and not. And of course you can sort all this here um, to get a better idea and we can see the PowerShell and the server manager contain um, the most events here. Uh, nine per second and 27 per hour on this one. Um, you can expand this and take a look at it here as well. And of course you can, um, this, so this list is filtered by default and if you right click here actually in this pane here and say show all event logs and what we'll do is we'll actually we'll stop the filtering and we'll show all the event logs, all the applications and services logs that are available and you'll notice that a lot of them are empty which is why um, we're hiding them by default because there's, there's really no, not a whole lot of uh, use and showing logs that are empty. So then you can just simply clear this again and of course uh, once you're in the event viewer um, you can let's, uh, update this again here and we'll go to the server manager operational then you'll actually see the events uh, just like um, we used to seeing them and double click the events to see uh, the information and um, you, you can see a little bit less information here at this point than compared to the event viewer, so XML view, things like that are not yet available. So if you need that, you'd still need the Windows event viewer, but if you just really just want to see the event, then this is a, a perfectly suitable, good way to do that. And we have a few other advantages too that make it uh, navigating a little bit faster. So you can see that we have a ribbon uh, here for the event log, so if you want to filter events and, for example, 
uh, hide all informational events you can just click the informational button here and it will hide informational events and only show warnings and errors and if you want to just reset that again you can click the clear button and everything is shown again you can also filter and source right here from the ribbon so let's say we only wanted to see event century events then we'll click this and the nice thing here is uh, <coughs> You can filter it down so as soon as you select an event source that has categories associated with it then you can immediately uh, filter it out here and select the category so here event center file monitoring is a category we'll hit apply and now we only see events from event centuries file monitoring feature you can narrow down further and only see the warnings and if you're done if you say okay i want to reset this again just like before hit the clear button and all events are going to show up again. So it's a real neat tool and in, uh, in most cases I think makes uh, navigating and viewing the event logs a lot easier and faster than with the built-in Windows event viewer thanks to the, uh, the, the flat hierarchy and the filtering of the applications and services logs and also thanks to the, the ribbon controls that make filtering really really easy and of course it works for the security event log as well and you can of course filter uh, based on event IDs um, as well. Thank you for watching.